Hi, so I wanted to give you a jump start on what you could expect to see in spring summer 2021. So spring is almost upon us. Um, coming with it are some really cool trends I'm sure you will love. So I'm gonna show you this year's spring summer trends that you can incorporate into your wardrobe. By the end of this video, you'll be able to pick up some trends that you can easily wear this year. So hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, hi and hello. I create weekly videos and if you want to stay connected, be sure to subscribe and press the bell notification so you don't miss out on my um, videos. And if you wanted to follow me on IG, there's my handle. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I've certainly felt the brunt of this lockdown. I guess I needed a pick me up. And what better way to do that by going into finding out what the new trends are for this year? Um, I know we're still in lockdown here in London, but I'm staying optimistic and when life eventually goes back to normal, or whatever the new norm may be, I'm looking forward to just going out, dressing up and all of those things. I can't wait. I haven't updated my wardrobe since the first lockdown and I think that was back in March 2000. 20. It's almost coming up to a year. I mean, how depressing is that? I don't know why I'm smiling. <gasps> but it's so shocking that it's been that long. Anyway, the trends that I'm going to show you, you can easily transform into your wardrobe and you don't necessarily need to go out and buy everything new. Some of the items you'll find in your wardrobe. So a little disclosure. My philosophy is that I spend smart on fashion. And what I tend to lean forward to are classic pieces and those trends that will continue to take me year after year. So in a nutshell, I purchase more timeless, basic, staple pieces so that I don't have wastage. And I can guarantee if you purchase or buy things in this way, you won't fill up your wardrobe which means that you don't have items in there that sit there for years that you never really wear and you don't feel bad. Anyway, for me, I hate wastage of any kind. So this way, I don't overfill my wardrobe with items that sit there for years. And don't get me wrong, if there is a trend that I really like, then of course I'll combine it into my style, but I'm cautious about what I purchase and what I'm bringing into my wardrobe. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you some trends that you could wear and how you can wear them. So let's get straight into it. So trend number one, wide leg pants. Oh my goodness, this is one of my favorites. So Louis Vuitton, Fendi, Chanel, Chloe and Gucci have all done a great, great job in just designing these comfortable, relaxed look clothes. So they could be formal, they could be casual, but most importantly, they're comfy. And I guess that many of us have been working from home or aren't really ready to go back into wearing tight clothes. I've had this feeling that this trend will go on for a whole year. I guess we've enjoyed wearing baggy clothes. And as I said, we're not really ready to go back to the fitted jeans. There's so many ways to actually style these bottoms. The high street has some really nice pieces. I've seen Mango, Zara, Boohoo do some really good pieces. Um, how you can wear these are up to you. But personally, I feel that you can wear them with a crisp white shirt a peplum top or even a blazer um, but my favorite would be to wear it with a tight fitted top something like this I think could look really classy let's move on to the next trend lingerie on display <laughs> so let's get straight to the point exposed lingerie is one of the biggest trends for spring I mean, lingerie for a long time has been reserved for the bedroom. You'll see that this trend is quite prevalent. Designers like Alexander Wang, Givenchy have all had this lingerie inspired look down the runway. And now we're seeing it on the high street. So what do we make of this fully exposed trend? Well, for starters, you can wear this trend without looking like a lingerie ad and even wear it so that you don't look too risque. So I've seen these pieces on the market that are perfectly wearable out in public. To make you look more street appropriate, just pair them up with a pair of jeans under a blazer or a cardigan. So how to wear the trend? The key to recreating this perfect springtime going out look is to pair a structured bra top with high-waisted skirt and trousers. I mean, I'm gonna show you a few that I personally love and I think it just makes the look. You could even wear a sheer bra and lay a blazer or a cardigan over it. 
um, or even a fitted tee for even more coverage. So there's so many different ways you can wear this. So this trend doesn't have to look revealing at all. So let's go to trend number three. It's all about block coloring and you'll see bright colors like fuchsia pink, corals, tangerines, and I'm excited to wear colors like this. I just find that the tangerine color is so complimentary on all skin tones. And I feel like these kind of colors are happy colors, bold colors. So this is something I've had in my wardrobe for about two years, never worn. Um, so today it felt like a perfect time to wear this. Um, and in terms of the bold colors, there's so many ways that you can wear the colors. You can mix and match the colors. I feel like you can definitely take advantage of the color blocking trend. And there's so many shades that pair perfectly together. So that's an easy and simple way to just look on trend and you don't have to f spend a fortune looking trendy. Now, if you wanted to, you could incorporate all of those three trends <laughs> into one. Imagine how hot. <laughs> <laughs> you'd look. Anyway, I've got a quick question. Will you be trying any of these trends? And if so, make sure you leave me a comment below to tell me what trend you will be following. And if not, then let me know why. Um, so anyway, that leads on to our next trend, which is trend number four, floral dresses. I mean, floral dresses are just timeless pieces. But I'm intrigued to see how the high street's going to implement these trends. I mean, they're going to be ramping it up a notch with vibrant patterns and sharper colors, bolder colors. And I guess the floral dress is just going to inject a little bit more fun. So here's a few that I've been liking. So I find floral dresses just an easy outfit to put together. Now, let's move on to trend number five the sweater vest. Now, this is a new trend and we're going to see a lot more of this. I mean, I love this look and the high street have already started to show us different ways to style this and of course, it's a simple trend. Now, I've never been into it, but I love the way some of the girls on my feed have been wearing them. So, it's one piece and it changes your look. So, Isabel Marant has done this beautiful jumper. One of my favourite brands like Christian Dual have showcased this on their catwalk. I mean, there are so many ways to wear it. One of the ways that I'd wear it is to put it under a white crisp shirt and pair it up with a light pair of jeans with some sneakers. I mean, that just takes that look to another level. Sophisticated, stylish, stylish? Sophisticated and stylish. I mean, that this last trend probably isn't the one that I'm gonna incorporate, but if I find something that I actually truly, truly love and just goes with my style, then I most definitely will. And that's all the trends that I'll be incorporating into my wardrobe. I hope you will be too. Um, if you enjoyed my video, please do give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.